Here's my little Alba bird, and I have a, an old Racer Star F405 wing flight control board on there. Uh, no GPS, I've just set it up as a stabiliser, uh, just with angle mode, acro, and manual. Very easy to set up, I'll show you how to do that after the flight, but just going to test it out now. One of the best things is you don't have to wait for GPS to uh, find a lock. Yep, everything's going the right way. It's in angle mode. See if I can launch in angle mode. Ah, yeah, yeah, lovely. And yeah, we can just push it around in circles. This would be good for a beginner. Uh, I've got to set up a plane up for a, a beginner soon, and this is going to be how I'm going to do it with this board in it. That is great, not having to worry about altitude at all, and it's just cruising around nicely in angle mode. That's hands off. Just make sure that is gaining height a bit, so I can probably reduce the board pitch trim. It's on four at the moment, could probably put it down to three. This is I have seven too. Acro mode, very nice. Yeah, that's nice and locked in feeling. Oh, I didn't put my camera on. I'll bring it in and start the camera recording. Lovely playing the old Elba bird. Okay, camera's recording now. We can get some onboard footage. Once again, I'll start off in angle mode. And fly around a bit. Such an easy takeoff. It's just going to fly around by itself pretty much. Bit of wind, so it's pushing it back behind me. That is full left turn. <laughs> Oops. Better land, there's a uh, chopper up in the air, I think. Where is he? Oh, there he is over there. Good, we're down on the ground. All right, let's fly a little bit more. Taking off in angle mode again. Basically hands off. Who needs auto launch? That's acro mode and that's manual mode. As you can see, back to angle mode and it self writes. Back to manual mode, let's get all out of whack and angle mode, and we're saved. That is so cool. It's good use for old flight control boards. Bingo! Very nice. So I've mounted the little racer star in the Alba Bird, uh, just using an S bus receiver there. Uh, no GPS, no camera, no video transmitter. Just a line of sight stabilised plane uh, using an old flight control board. So let's uh, connect it up and see how we set it up. I've updated it to INAV 7, just because that's what you do. Normal calibration. Here's the mixer. It actually has two motors, but uh, I've just got them on Y leads acting as one motor, really. Normal control surfaces, outputs, 
ports. Now, all I've got in the ports is the receiver. I don't have a GPS, so I don't need to do anything else there. And I'm not using FPV. This is just a line of sight stabilized plane. So uh, that's all we need to do there. Configuration. As long as we don't click this GPS for navigation, then those sorts of things won't um, show up. We won't get the GPS icon up here. All we've got is a gyro, accelerometer and barometer, which is all we need for stabilization. I am continuously trimming servos. Don't need an OSD, I'm not using that. Fail safe, there's no point doing return to home because we haven't got a GPS to know where home is, so it's just leaving it as land. Uh, PID tuning, normal PID tuning, you could do an auto tune if you wanted to, but I'm just um, using the stock settings and I've got plus four there and I thought I could have dropped that down to three. Let's try that for the next flight. Nothing to do in advanced tuning unless you want to try uh, auto launch, which I don't need auto launch, so I'm not going to bother with that. Receiver, you just have to choose your appropriate receiver. Mine's an S-Bus, so I've got S-Bus there. And the modes, all I'm using are arm, angle and manual. And that's it. And I have uh, angle and manual on a three position switch. I have the starting position, that's the switch in the back position as angle. In the middle is acro and uh, down is manual. There is no GPS, so there's nothing to see there. There's no OSD, so nothing to do there. And that is about it. Because the board has a barometer on it, I probably could use uh, altitude hold, but uh, angle mode works well enough for line of sight flying anyway, so I'm not going to bother about altitude hold. So that just keeps it nice and simple. And uh, if you were just Dipping your toe in iNav, this is a good way to sort of start off just to make sure your connections are working. Forget about the GPS and the camera to start off with and just set up the angle and manual mode. Uh, that'll be enough to tune the plane, really. Uh, and then later on, you can add all the uh, fancy GPS stuff and camera and OSD and all that sort of stuff. But this is a quick and easy way to get started and to give yourself a, a nice safe, stabilized line of sight plane. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.